A rhombic dodecahedron is a convex polygon where each of the 12 faces is a rhombus and all the faces are congruent to one another. The number of edges that meet at a vertex is either 3 or 4. How many vertices do there exist such that exactly three of them meet? So the first thing to kind of notice here in these types of 3D geo problems, you have 12 rhombic faces, right? Or there's not really a rhombus, is it? But let's just draw a rhombus. So the thing is, every face has kind of four edges. So how many edges are there? 12 faces, each one has four edges. Is it just 48? Well, unfortunately not. Because, for example, because we're dealing in 3D, take a look. Every edge will be the part of two faces, right? This edge is part of, is the edge of this face. But that same edge is also an edge of this face. So if, you're, if you look at each face and add up the number of edges on each face, we get 48. But then we divide by two because each edge is amongst two faces. So therefore we have 24 edges. 12 faces, 24 edges. Now, if you know Euler's polyhedron formula, it should remind you of that, you need to use or there's polyhedron formula and that says this edges is V vertices plus faces minus two. So there's 24 edges. So we have 26 equals the number of vertices plus the number of faces. The number of vertices is just 14. So that's pretty cool. We now know there's 24 edges, 14 vertices. And that's kind of the trick. Whenever you have edges and faces, you can always find the number of vertices. Similarly, if you have edges and vertices, you can always find the number of faces. And if you have vertices and edges, you can find the number of faces. And if you have, oh, sorry, edges, and then edges and faces, you can find the number of vertices. So now it's, we have this condition here. The number of edges that meet at each vertex is three or four. What is the number of vertices? Hmm. So we have 14 vertices and 24 edges. So it's like we're adding up, we look at this vertice, it has these edges extruding from it. Hmm. So let's consider one vertice in particular. Or one vertex in particular. This edge, this edge is going to be, this edge is going to meet at this vertice, but that same edge is also going to meet at this vertice. That same edge is causing, like imagine there's a count. You have like a count for each vertex, right? Now imagine if this edge wasn't there. The count would be two here and two here, right? But the fact of adding this edge, what happens? Well, the number of edges from this vertices increases by, increases by one. And the number of vertices here increases by one. So as you can see, the same thing is true for any edge. It adds it adds a total of two, it adds a total of two to the counts of each of the vertices of each vertex. And by count, I mean the number of edges that meet at a vertex. So in total, we have 24 edges. So that means the count, the total count amongst all the vertices, because each edge contributes one to two vertices is 48. So total, count and again and by count i mean number of edges and number of edges that extrude from one vertex and total count is just the sum of that over all the vertices total count is just two times the number of edges 48 but the total count is distributed amongst 14 vertices but now we're given here the number of edges that meet at a vertex is three or four and we have so at each vertice we have three or four now imagine, here's kind of like the chicken and rabbit type questions, like super standard stuff. For each vertice, if there were, imagine if there were all had three edges extruding from them. Then we would have only 42. Our total count would be only 42. So we need each, each one that has four, each a vertex that has a count of four, adds one to this. 
out of these 14 vertices, therefore six of them have count four. Six of them have four edges that are extruding from that vertice, from that vertex. And eight of them have count three. And if you add this up, you can see indeed eight times three plus eight times three plus six times four is 48. And the total number of vertices is also 14. Therefore, we see, okay, six of the vertices have three edges going out, and eight have three edges going out, and six have four going out. So it's asking how many vertices do three edges meet? That's just eight. And our answer is eight. So the key idea in this problem was realizing that, okay, we can easily find the number of edges because each edge is on two face. Then we use Euler's polyhedron formula to find the number of vertices. And then we see, okay, each edge contributes one to both of these counts. So our total count is 48 amongst 14 vertices. And then we can just easily see, okay, yeah, eight of them have to have count, have to have three edges going out of them, and six of them have four going out of them. Thanks for watching.